Where you got hills? Uh, Arcadian carrot and oatmeal soup. Thank you very much. Very nice. Uh, mm. We got up. Spicy pork fillet and bean with what was a little scone, but it's scone already. <laughs> uh, same as me then. Quite nice, isn't it? Mm, taste star. Delicious. Taste sensation. Taste star. Mm. Is that the liver? It is. Cuts a bit off. Can I try a bit? It looks very steakish, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, nice look at that. that. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. No tubes in mm. it. <laughs> oh, mum. I've got steak. steak. Chips. I've got steak with pepper sauce. <laughs> I'd like to be doing that in a posh restaurant. Mm -hmm. Is it good? I reckon so. Very good. That was also awesome. <laughs> Come on, slow coach. Oh. Did you miss the puff, puff or rub? No. <laughs> Are you not tempted to get out because you're a fit old girl? You could easily beat a lot of these whippersnappers. Are you not tempted to give it a go? Mm, no. Have you ever sold it, Rob? No, I haven't. Have That's, you? Paid? Yes, I have. Twice, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I came twenty to your thorns, you know. You're, you're just an awesome person, you say. I'm not. I'm just a. Used to be. Used to be. Yeah. 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 So, no, no, afraid not. Um, I couldn't not be here. Even though I'm not writing, never say so never. Like, you like the event, but you just don't want to get on the bike. Correct. Uh, I'm not too old. It's not about being too old. It's um, you just miss your writing, buddy, really, don't you? If I said I wanted to do it and I was looking for a partner, would you do it? Yeah. <laughs> did I say that out loud? I did too. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it always sounds good at the time, though, doesn't it? But it's well, not. I'll tell you what, right? If I get better, yes. And I get fit, yes. I'm still never fucking doing it. <laughs> that is the right answer. <laughs> Thank you. I said that the puffer. That's the shitty time. Four o'clock in the morning and everything stops and it's quiet and there's nothing to keep you mentally or physically motivated. But as a support person. As a support person, yes. Yeah, that's tough. when the, that's no, but that's when you need to the support because that's when your rider dips. It's the shittiest time for the support. Yeah, it's shitty for everybody. Yeah, and it's cold and it's dark, and you know that you've still got five hours where it's not going to get dark uh, light. We're here at the Strathpuffer, and the Strathpuffer is where we all got together, really. Uh, Rob was my riding partner for, for years, and when we did the Strathpuffer Hills was our support, or my support, and then our support. And Pit Bitch, as the so in, incorrectly or politically incorrectly called nowadays, but I, Hills would look after us, do all the food and everything else like that while we're out doing laps. And uh, they're great. So this is how we all became friends. <laughs> I can't think of being at the Puffer with better awesome people so I invited them along <laughs> unfortunately they were either racing or weren't available so I'm having to put up with these fuckers you don't have to put up with us you can fuck up any time you like yeah. <laughs> my van you're the ones who are my guests and that's the only reason why we're here it's because your, of that. your guest ticket could expire at any moment <laughs> Between now and 10 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Anytime. Anytime. Yeah. Oh, yes. We'll be uh, It's a lottery. <laughs>
flange. Morning. Organized chaos. That's my. I'm hoping just for the kudos for three hours from just having my cool bike <laughs> before anyone sees me riding it. <laughs> what are you doing this year? Quad? We're doing a quad day. Right. We're the. Um, we're the lefty walk single speeds. <laughs> oh, you're single speeding it? We're single speeding it. I actually thought I was going to be on suspension or, and uh, gears until I was filling in the indemnity form and checked my team name. And I was like, oh, I better dig out the thing killer. So, uh, yeah, full Jones bars as well. So, yeah. so you, you were just in Morocco, weren't you? We were, yeah. So we did the Atlas. Uh, yeah, but in Morocco I had a, a, a like massive great granny gear, which I was using like in a oh, pretty relaxed manner. But we should be okay. I'll probably be um, I'll probably be faster going up than down. But I'm going to use my Jones bars as an excuse for waddling. <laughs> so we've got the piper who's done all of the strap puffers. This is John McLean, also known as Furry Breaks. How's it Hi. going? So far, so good, Pete. That's his face. <laughs> Right, you got to do is your best Elvis impersonation. Oh, uh, oh, that's Buddy Holly. <laughs> that's about going to rave on. You to, uh, can you do the lip? I don't. I can actually. Oh, that's all right. Oh, that's all right yeah. It's better than Ian. Or I can do that though. Oh, <laughs> you got to do it again in, yeah. in frame. Do it again. I can't do that. Oh. I said that there's some fine figures of men here that deserve to be turned on. And there's also some not quite so fine figures of men. They need to be appreciated for all the hours of hard work and training that they've put into it. You dirty old ladies. Yes. Guilty's children. Cougars. We're doing our social duty, don't you know, to appreciate. Are you our suggesting work? that tight lycra is a good look? In some like. some some cases, yes, but we saw one that definitely <laughs> wasn't. <laughs> With your little button mushroom. Definitely. <laughs> 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 Were you fancying a breakfast of champignons? Champignons. <laughs> <laughs> There's no champignon to be actually champ on. <laughs> hey, he's probably say. a fun guy. <laughs> Come on, Kyle, oh, smash the sun. Yeah. That's buzzard. Go on, Edie. Smash the sun. So, what's your name? Anna. And what are you doing today? I'm Strathpuffer. Yeah, uh, what kind of team are you in? I'm in a quad. Right. And how are you feeling about that? Excited. 
Have you told your face that? <laughs> no. So how do you feel you're going to do? Good. I good think you're going to be there. awesome. Is this you now? Yeah. Excellent. Oh, nice one, Anna. Right, have fun. Enjoy it. You smash that and have fun. Good one, Pim. Fish, Alistair, fish. Oh, Anna. Oh, Anna. Time, Ryan, because he's... Anna Wheelie. Pim, for the first time in 25 years, is I'm struggling like... <laughs> I don't know if this is picking them up, but there's two red kites just there. <laughs> God's sake. Oh. <laughs> that was good timing, wasn't it? Oh, I know, I'm leaving it until I really have to. I just thought, oh, well, that's, that's tough. That is, he's, he's not gunning it, is he? No. He's just, just that's slowly, it. slowly, catchy monkey, steady oh, pace. Oh, All right. kind of Times I've been up this path and I've never seen him before. This is the old route that <laughs> Dog Doggers was built to, <clears throat> uh, to stop us using. It's steep on the way up, that's for sure. So it's 20 past three and we're at the top of Dog Dodgers. Um, a shitty little bit in the forest, but we like to come here and, and cheer folk on. Ordinarily we'd walk all the way around the course, but we left it a bit late today and I'm not feeling the best. Plus I've been fanning it around with my drone, so you'll see some of that. But yeah, it's, it's just nice to get here. The plan now is to go down and get some dinner and tea at the same time, because we forgot to have one of them and we didn't factor that in. And then we'll uh, head back up in the dark and and sit by the, the course side at the top of the hill and cheer everyone on for a few hours with some beers. That's the way we roll. Now keep it going, well done. <laughs> nearly there, nearly there. <laughs> this bit's a twat. <laughs> Best hair today, well done. Yes, well done. Well done. <laughs> Go on, Joe! Go on, Joe! Joe with the pogies! Whoop, whoop! Alright, who's doing? Alright, how are you doing? <laughs> 
God. Go on, Dennis, the main ace. The best one. Yeah. Go and get them sleeves rolled up and get to work. This bit shit. Temperature's five degrees. It's a bit drizzly on and off, but we've got a bit of blue sky above us just now. Uh, the forecast from midnight is snow and ice warning. So we'll see how that goes because the top of this course is going to freeze. So it's going to get really tough for them. And if it snows, it'll be a proper puffer. We love it in the snow. Well done. I would have to concentrate and yeah, think quite easily. Yes, well done. What are you up, Fatty? Loaded fries, but without all your spicy shy. Any good? Yeah, it's okay. What are you got, Rob? Loaded fries with spicy shy. It's the best thing. Yeah. And then he needs to change again. Last year's winner, but not racing today. Occupied with children. How's Hubby doing? He's racing, isn't he? Racing, he's going strong, right? Yeah, we've seen him a few times, and he's he's just been plodding along, not gunning it, just taking it easy. That's the strategy. Yeah. Slowly, slowly catch them on the kitchen. Yeah, it's a long game. Yeah, a long game. Riding. Thirty twenty. Thirty twenty. It's not that small, is it? No. Oh. That's what I ride most of the time. But for the first I think I did thirty twenty one. I still wish that was easier. <laughs> we had tea and we're back at the van, just enjoying a couple of tinnies before we head back up onto the hill. I, th I think it was the first year of the dog dodges section, in the wee small hours of the morning. I was riding down there and they just happened to notice that there was a guy on the side of the course there in a puffer jacket with a boombox dancing away and cheering everyone on going down there. And it gave me such a boost at that time in the morning when you're absolutely banjaxed to see this guy who's hiked all the way up the hill and he's, he's having a wee party by himself cheering us on. Like, if he can do that, then, then you know, I, I can put on a bit of a more of a performance and put in another lap. And the, everyone was talking about him down at the bottom. They were going, do you see that guy up at the top of Dog Dodgers having a party and, and by himself and, and then just cheering everyone on? And they're like, yeah, it's great, it's great, isn't it? So when I retired from the puff, I decided that that's what I was going to do. So every year we head up to the top of the course, have a few beers, Take a, a, a Walkman, showing my age there now, eh? <laughs> take, take a wee Bluetooth speaker, uh, blast out some tunes and just sit there, a couple of beers, cheer everyone on, annoy them, ask them to do wheelies and then uh, head back down again. The first year it was five o'clock in the morning when we got back and we had breakfast in the tent and headed back. But um, we're far more sensible now, so we're going to go up early and come back about midnight-ish. That's the plan anyway, it could all go wrong. But the, the snow warning starts at midnight. It has been raining for the last hour or so, uh, so the course will be in a right crap state. So you've got to feel for the uh, the riders, so they deserve all the support we can give them. Yeehaw! Woo! <laughs> Just lovely seeing them coming through the trees. Yeah. What a gorgeous night. Well done. Yeah. 
<laughs> Have you ever seen Ramstein? You'll know that this is oh, relevant. Yeah, boy. about two from our spot but on the way back at the top of Dog Dodgers the gap in the wall there was a, a group of boys and I knew one of them so we joined them and they had all the glow sticks and a blow up doll and the lights and the, the speaker on and uh, they were having a good time so we, we stayed with them for uh, a couple of drums and then uh, Heading back down here. We missed the wood fired peaches, only just, so we've had to have some soup here in the, uh, in the event tent. Lentil soup in a roll, which is alright, and a cup of tea. And uh, that'll do us. It's been a great day supporting uh, the pufferlings. And we shall get up in the morning and cheer them on again. Uh, the weather's due to turn shite, it really hasn't at the moment, well, when I say it hasn't turned shite, it's been raining, but it hasn't turned into snow or ice, as was forecast, but it has turned into shitey rain. Morning. Uh, how's your soup? Uh, not as good as I would make. <laughs> but it filled a hole at uh, 3 o'clock in the morning, or whatever time it is. How you doing? Excellent. Not as good as yours, obviously. <laughs> I would have to say that, but yeah, there we go. We we up checking the scores there. Yeah. Colin is lying eight, three laps behind, but he's on a single speed. Kyle is equal laps, but he's in second place with. Kyle's second now, is he? Kyle's second. Oh, okay, excellent. Um, yeah. So we're gonna have to get up and. See how you do in the morning, then. So the question that absolutely nobody asked, but I'm going to answer anyway, is what do you wear for basically a whole day out on a Scottish hill in winter, supporting a mountain bike race? Now the girls are going for woolly hats, dry robes with all the uh, stuff underneath, waterproof trousers, and. Love's got the Sorel Sur Caribou boots. Francis went for yes. Doc Martens with waterproof trousers and the same dry rope. Whereas me, I went for three layer Gore Tech outer and then the uh, buffalo underneath that. And just oh, normal like walking boots and walking oh, trousers. <laughs> well, I could That's tell so you're riveted by shoes. my really kitchen. interesting clothing <laughs> review, so I'll say good night.
It came, the snow came. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, How are you doing, man? And you? Yeah. Ah, you're fine. You're fine. Yeah. Yeah. Well done, sir. Well done. Awesome. Of course, always. Ah, no worries. No worries. That's what I'm here for. I'm aspiring to be as good as Pete. Yeah. And I've got the building blocks, and I know what I'm lacking. So I've got a template to work to. Uh, you, you stick with it. You stick yeah. with it, and you, you'll get there in the end, right? You'll get there in the end. Just, I mean, just chip away at it. Just, just winning the the UK solo single speed 24 hour championship is is, is one of the steps on the journey that will get you there. Right, it'll get you there. It's a good yeah. start. Yeah, and then right, stick with it, and you can maybe eat two bacon and egg rolls of a morning. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and you've got a good wife behind you, she's also got Gemma some keeps me right. She's got she said, she said ride well. one tooth hard uh, easier on the single speed. So I, I'm normally 32.19, 32.20 for this. And it was perfect. Most of the time. Yeah, it was ideal. So my last lap was one hour seven. And I was averaging a sort of that in the first 12 hours, faded and then managed to like belt it out in the end. Slightly regret not doing the final lap. But I sort of felt like it's not going to change the results. No need, you you, you were way ahead, weren't you? Yeah. I mean, I've, I've, it doesn't change the results. I've achieved what I wanted to achieve. Yeah. Uh, and also, I had a lovely, you know, Tom Sight. Oh, yes, yes. So the two of us rode for the first third of the lap, and we just had such a lovely time together. I thought, and then I chatted to a few other people as I was going through. I thought, hey, you're not going to top that as a final lap. So I thought, I'll just, I'll just finish now. Go back and get warm, drink some tea, get bacon roll. So, yeah, good day. Good day. Well done, sir. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for all the cheering. That makes all the difference. I couldn't work it out. The first time I went past you with the circles, I was like, I couldn't see your faces. I was like, oh, hello. I don't know who you guys are. And then it was on the second time. I'd shouted and you were like, oh, it's Colin! Because <laughs> <laughs> we can't, you couldn't see your board that was coming up fast. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, every time it wasn't until people were passing, you would go, oh! oh. How'd you get on the machine? It was brilliant, loved it. How many laps? <laughs> five laps. So five laps, quad team. I think I was over quad of four. My laps were the slowest but the most stylish. Right. <laughs> and the doodiest dude of the whole competition. Fastest. Yeah. Fastest. How many laps you get? Five as well. Five as well. Yeah. All five. Awesome. You enjoy it? I did. Yeah. It's yeah. great. Yeah, it's yeah. Tell I'll us come about back your van. Around. What kind of van you got? Uh, a Zill One Three One. So, ex Soviet. Awesome. Army truck. <laughs> <laughs> and can you do as your best Elvis impersonation? No. <laughs> so this is uh, Joe Page, who I've said before, one of, one, one of the members of Malay World. How did you get on, Joe? Uh, okay, survived it. 17 uh, laps, uh, one no. crash. Well, actually, maybe three crashes, but only one serious crash. <laughs> so where, where did that bring you in the, the female category? Second. Second? Oh, well done you. So you've got to wait and get a prize now then? Yeah, you? I think so. Yo. Second is females, and then 18th overall in the solo is... So that's awesome that you've done that well, but it's even better to see you. <laughs> 22 laps? Yeah. As the quads? Yeah. How many did you do? Um, five. And did you like it? Yeah. That, your puffer experience was all you expected, was it? Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Are you going to do it again? Um, yeah. And what was your fastest lap? One, uh, eight. What's that? One hour and eight minutes. That's excellent. Yeah. Well done, you. Yeah. And what was your fastest lap? Uh, 53. What's that? 53. 53, that's awesome. Yeah. yeah. How old are you? Uh, 17. 17? Oh, I think we might have a future racer amongst yeah, us. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. So you're going to be coming in in a, a pairs or a solo then, are you? In the future? Um, maybe, we'll see. Oh. We'll probably go a few more quads first.
Especially the snow on this bag. <laughs> so we the guys from uh, uh, Rachel Show. Quick, quick, get your camera. He's got single speed wheels okay, on the front of his van. It's, it's snow. Right, get your camera going for the National Challenge. There's four people in that van. Yeah. <laughs> Better get that unpacked, eh? All weekend I've been asking people mm -hmm. to do Elvis impersonations. Oh, yes. Because you do the best one in the world. I've forgotten how to do it. Do your Elvis impersonation. Uh -huh. <laughs> I can't. Got it. Do it. It's all right, Pete. Let's see it again. One more time. One more time. <laughs> For the fame. <laughs> Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> this is Ian, by the way. This is uh, Roberta's, oh, right, wife. Roberta's wife. Yes. He did the Vido with me once. He came yes. camping. I did once. Yes. yes. He was a, Never again. <laughs> he was Tried a shite camp mate. Fell asleep after 10 minutes and snored a lot. <laughs> so, if anybody would like to learn how to do an alternative Elvis impression, I'm your man. I might just invest in a pair of you. Cheers. Let's see it again. <laughs> oh, let's see it. <laughs> <laughs> 